So first card we have here is Two of Ariel. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says, it's important to have balance. Working multiple jobs or projects at once make work fun. So I get a number of you, you're just like, you're hanging on the ledge in, in some areas of life because you're just putting everything that you have into work. Um, I get for a number of you, you just, you've become a, a, a complete workaholic. I, I do get that it's, it's stressing your marriage for some of you. Um, I get for some of you, it's really putting, a, putting stress on your health as well. So what they're encouraging you to do is, is this month in April to find more balance um, because it, it's imperative for you to, to have that balance in all areas of your life. Um, to balance the fun, to balance the family time, to balance the you time with work. So they're encouraging you to get back to a place of balance this month because that will help improve all areas of your life. Next card is Epiphany. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says, Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. So I get that in April, a number of you are going to have, have some tremendous insight to, to a really significant area of your life. Um, for some of you, you know, you've had struggles at work. For some of you, contemplating potential new job, contemplating starting your own new business. Um, you haven't really been sure what to do, but I, I get that you're going to receive those answers in April, but you are going to have to pray, meditate, really go within and, and look for the signs, the intuitive guidance that you're getting from your angels because you are getting that. Um, and they are sending that wise advice your way so that you can act on it and, and get get back to a place of happiness and joy and letting that divine light within you shine. Um, and, and I get that it'll be in April that, that you will get that insight. Um, for some of you, I get that there's been some things going on at work. Um, even some like dishonest happenings where, you, where you're like, you're not sure you can trust coworkers, not sure you can trust your supervisor. Um, you're just really completely doubting it. There's stress, there's tension. I get that that's all going to come to light. What's been going on will, it will be illuminated for you in April. Um, so then at that point you can make a decision for some of you. It just, you know, you may find that actually the things have been going on for your best interest with them when you thought that they weren't being trustworthy, they were actually doing things that are best for you. Um, for some of you, I, I feel that you're going to find out that your, your intuition was right. Um, but I get that the, the angels and God are going to be right behind you, giving you guidance to make the career change, make the move, make the changes that will improve that situation for you um, or, or completely put you in a new situation. But I do get it's going to be illuminated. And not only is it going to be illuminated, but they're also going to bring you answers to help get you to a better place of happiness. Okay. So what they're saying is, is trust and listen to them. Listen to the intuitive guidance that they're giving you because I do get some of you are getting the intuitive guidance. You, you're just not opening up to receiving it. So they're asking that you be open to that in April so that they can help you through this transition. Next card we have is you and your loved ones are safe. And at the bottom, if you can read that, it says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Please help me feel safe. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. So, okay. I'm getting that a number of you are really worried about your health. Um, I get that a number of you, you, you have some serious health concerns. For some of you, it may be due to the stress of work because that's just putting a lot of stress on you because it's causing the, the family issues, the marital issues. And um, for those of you that are single, it's just, you know, stress isn't good for the body. Um, and for some of you, it's not even stress related, but there, but there are some, some serious health concerns that you have. Um, so what Archangel Michael is trying to remind you is that, that you are being watched over by heaven. God and the angels are watching over you. They are helping you. Um, so 
so you can relax, you can trust, um, and, and know that everything's being taken care of. And for some of you, I get that you're concerned about a family member's health, be it a parent, a spouse, for some of you, even a child. Um, so what they're asking is that give your worries to God and pray for that help and, and just trust and, and know that you're, you're being taken care of and being watched over. And and pay attention to the the signs that they're giving you because I get for some of you, they're giving you signs of, of different healthcare providers, healers, pe people to go see to help with the health situation. Um, and, and they're encouraging you to take action on that in April because um, for some of you that are in that you know the health situation they've given you I, I get that they've given you some some clear guidance of where to go to get the help that is needed um, but I get that you're hesitant not moving on it because um, a lack of trust uh, being overcome by worry they're asking you to to let all that worry go trust that that is where you're supposed to be going to get healed to get the help that you need and, and act on it move forward because they're giving you that information for a reason that's what's going to help you so be open to that trust have faith know that it's going to work out for some of you i, I get that this is financially a financial concern you're worried about your finances you're worried about being able to take care of yourself take care of your family same thing they're asking that you turn over your worries pray meditate let go let god you are being taken care of you are being watched over by heaven you, you have nothing to worry about and when you worry about your finances and you sit and you stress that how am i going to pay my bills am i going to have the money for this i'm going to have the money to send my you know kid to summer camp and when you doubt that you're going to have the money that's what you manifest so so they're asking to stop doubting stop doubting stop worrying be come from a place of complete trust and watch the finances roll in to cover everything. Because you are being watched over by heaven. And if you look here, you've got three angels in a row. Which is like the Trinity, God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You are being watched over. Money will be provided. You just need to get out of doubt, worry, that negativity, so that you can't so that you'll stop blocking that financial abundance, so that it will just flow in to you. And they'll help you with that in April. Now this row down here, this is about love. And you guys are the first ones really that I didn't have love intermingled in the general stuff. So first one we have is let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. So for some of you, it's almost like, you know, you're single and your friends are trying to set you up on blind dates and you're like, ah, uh -uh, remember what happened last time? <laughs> so you're just not really being open to that. So they're, they're asking you to, to be open to it. Um, they're trying to help you. So, you know, you're praying for this love of lifetime, this, you know, love boat of yours. And they're trying to bring that person to you via other people. But, but they can only help you to the degree that you're going to allow the assistance to occur and unfold. So, so you need to be more willing in April to be open to that assistance that they're trying to give you. Um, and I do get for a number of you, it's your friends. For some of you, it may be your family members. Um, but just be open to that. And also be open to discussing love with them. You know, your hopes, your feelings, your dreams. Allow them to help you. You know, maybe they're not going to set you up on a blind date, but maybe they'll give you some advice, some recommendations um, that could help you. So just be open to it. And for some of you, I get some of you, you're in a relationship. You're married, you're in a committed relationship. Kind of like lost a little bit of a spark. There's a lot of tensions. Maybe you're not so much arguing, but you're just not in a joyful, happy place. I get that if you'll take time to go and spend with your friends, your family, to find that that joy that happiness outside of the relationship that's that's going to re, it's going to renew your enthusiasm it's going to renew your joy your happiness with life which is going to improve your relationship that will ultimately bring the spark back to your relationship with your loved one which is what you do desire so take that time away from your partner go have fun with your friends go have fun with your family just get away have fun and watch the spark and the love and the romance come back in to your partnership. 
Next card we have is, it is safe for you to love. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I get a number of you, you're just, you're really guarded. You, you're, you have your your wall up, be it some of you, you've been burned from a blind date. And you're like, uh -uh, I'm not doing that. Or no, yeah, I don't really want to deep down be with someone because I'm afraid I'm going to get hurt like I was in the past. Um, because I get a number of you, you just... You've been hurt in the past. You're completely guarded. You are not letting love in. and But you so deeply desire love. I mean, you really want a partner, but but you're you're not letting them in. And I get for some of you, you even um you even feel like you you've healed from your past hurts. But if you dug down deep, you would find that you haven't because what's happening is, you know, you think that you, you've healed from it, it's all let go and, and you're fine, you're ready to move forward, but you can't understand why love's not coming to you because energetically, at a soul level, because the, those past hurts and um, disappointments and painful romantic experiences have really closed your heart completely. So energetically, when when someone, a potential partner is coming your way, you, you're pushing them away and you don't, you don't even realize it. Um, so what they're saying is, it, it's, it's safe for you to love it. It's safe for you to let that guard down. And, and if you're one of those people that's just kind of like stuck and you're like, I don't understand it because I can sit here and, and logically say, yes, I was burnt by so-and-so, they hurt me, they did this and this and this, but I am better. I'm in a whole new place now. I'm happy. I'm confident. I'm ready for love. But you still don't understand why it's not happening. Go inside. Do pray. Meditate. Go see a healer to get the assistance that you need. Um, for some of you, I get the health issues that you're worried about are actually the same problems that are blocking you from love. In which case, you're going to need a healer to assist you with that. Um, and for some of you, I guess it's going to be simple, you know, praying, asking God, Jesus, Archangel Raphael, who is um, the healing archangel. He also is the, the romance archangel. Just praying and asking for their help, for them to remove those blocks, to heal your heart, to help you let that wall down, will be all it will take. But I do get that's what, what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to get rid of that, that wall, that heart wall that you have that's blocking you. So you truly, at a soul level, know it is safe for you to love and you can finally move forward into that re that relationship that you desire. And I do get that you'll be successful in April. But for some of you, you're going you're, you're gonna to need a little bit of help. Maybe from someone else, maybe from above. But be open to that help. Last card we have here, if you can see it, it says, get to know each other. Learning to meet another's needs for love is important for a relationship to grow. So... Back to those of you that are, you know, in the relationship, you feel disconnected. Um, you don't feel that connection, that, you know, close, that spark. You feel like you've lost that spark. Um, for some of you that the spark's gone because, you know, you've been given everything you've got to work. This is the, the month to take the time away from work. <laughs> Get away from the cast. Go enjoy time together with each other. And, and really rediscover what makes each other special. And, and enjoy that and, and just play and have fun with each other and flirt. And, and it will bring the spark back to your life, back to your romance, back to your partnership. It, it will help that love grow. And for some of you, I get that there is there's marital conflict, conflict in your relationship um, because, of like your, because of your differences. Um, Men and women, obviously, we're different. We're wired differently. We, we are completely different. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. You know, men compliment us in areas. We compliment them in other areas. We're yin-yang. I mean, we, we are here to balance each other out, but we are differently, different completely. But it's a good thing. That's how it's supposed to be. If you embrace those differences... You can have a magical, loving relationship. Because I get for some of you, it's almost like you're frustrated. Like, oh my gosh, he just doesn't understand me or she just doesn't get it. And, and there's a lot of conflict. But if you sit back in April and you just appreciate that that's simply stemming because you're just wired different. 
It doesn't mean that they don't love you. It doesn't mean that they're trying to drive you crazy. It just means that they're different. They, they have a different way that they view things. But that doesn't make that bad. That makes it good. You complement each other. And I get that if you can separate yourself from the frustration, the, the arguments, the tension, the emotional turbulence, and you can just sit back and appreciate it, you, you'll find yourself in a place, and they're encouraging you to find yourself in a place where you appreciate those differences. And, and start coming from a place of, of gratitude, of appreciating the things that they do for you and how they truly are your partner so that you can sp get that spark, get that romance back. And, and appreciate those differences and get to know each other again. You know, same thing for those of you in this situation. You know, go take a weekend together. Go take a weekend together. Embrace your differences. Find the things that are great, the things that are amazing about that. Appreciate that. Let them know that you appreciate them and love them for all that they are. Be playful, be lighthearted, enjoy your time together, and you will get the spark back that you do desire in the relationship. Um, but it's just going to take some time to, to reconnect with each other and appreciate those differences and getting back to a place of love, connectivity, um, union, and it will put the spark in, in, in the romance back in. So, and I do get you'll be successful. April will be a very good month for you with that.